Okay, so I wanted to do one more thing, so I just kind of hung it up half-assed. Excuse my language. I'm going to drop the stitch. And the reason why I'm doing this, let's say you want to knit it from all the way down to the bottom. You're actually doing ribbing now. Okay, and what you're going to want to do is unravel these loops. all the way to the bottom. But before you do, that very last loop, right before, see there's the two bottom loops to the side and then this one in the middle. That's where you wanna end up and then unravel to there, okay? If that doesn't happen and you accidentally unravel them all, you're gonna have two loops here And so if that happens, I just take the very bottom loop and I twist my needle. Actually, I put, put it in here and I'm gonna twist it, okay? So I put it in from above and then I twist it and then I start catching all the loops. Okay. It's going to be kind of hard to hold. All right. But so when you're doing that, always go all the way to the bottom. But now you know what to do if they both come undone. Okay. Now also, when you're doing this, you can skip, let's see, let's skip three, okay? See these three right here? We're gonna skip those, and we're gonna grab that fourth one, pull through, okay? Now we're gonna go skip three more. One, two, three, grab that fourth one. Okay, one, two, three, grab the fourth one up here. Now what you're doing is, is your own tuck stitch. Oops, I missed something somewhere. There we go. Okay, one, two, three, four, oops. Grab that one. One, two, three. Grab that one. Okay, so then you can have something like this backside, or it can start looking like lace on the front side, or cute little tuck stitch, whatever, tuck lace. Okay. 